Previously, we met the notion of simplifying a fraction. To simplify a fraction, remember, just means to write the fraction in the lowest terms. Now we're going to talk about a related idea, that of simplifying a variable expression. What does it mean to simplify a variable expression? Well, to simplify a variable expression simply means to write it in its simplest form. All right, but what's the simplest form of a variable expression? The answer to that question, unfortunately, is it depends. I will tell you what it means for the kind of expressions we're going to be talking about right now. For a linear variable expression, the simplest form contains no grouping symbols, so no parentheses, no fraction bars serving as grouping symbols. All like terms have been combined. And finally, all division is written as multiplication. So what's that going to look like? Just a number times the variable plus another number. For reasons that will become clear later, we tend to call the number that's multiplied by x, m, and call the constant b. But in the simplest form, these aren't going to be variables. These will be known numbers. Of course, if we have more than one variable, we'll have extra terms for the extra variable. And also be aware, order doesn't matter in addition. Order doesn't matter in simplest form. So we could also write this as a number plus another number times the variable. There's no rule that says we have to write the variable term first. So let's look at some examples and see if they're in simplest form. Is this expression in simplest form? 2 thirds minus 11 eighths x? Well, yeah, we have two terms. They're not like terms. They can't be combined. They're all written either as a constant or as a number times the variable, and there are no grouping symbols. Okay, let's see another example. Is 4x minus 3 all over 5 in simplest form? Well, no. Why not? Because this is division. And also, this fraction bar is acting as a grouping symbol. So no, this is not in simplest form. We would need to simplify it in order to get it into simplest form. One more example. Is 3x plus 5 minus 7x in simplest form? Again, no. Why not? These are like terms. So we would need to simplify further. In the next video, we'll see the steps that we'll follow to simplify an expression.